like University of Illinois. Hey guys, we are back with another video. Dave from Timber Time Outdoors, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about sunglasses. So if you're in the market, you're gonna make a purchase. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the finer points of buying a pair of sunglasses. Now I'm primarily gonna reference fishing as the outdoor activity, um, both hard water and um, uh, soft water, but those concepts that I'm going to reference can be applied to just about any outdoor activity. So stay with us, guys. Hey, now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Okay, sunglasses, what's the big deal, right? Well, like everything, um, most gear has been engineered to death, and there are some finer points to sunglasses that I'm going to talk about today. And it has nothing to do with how they fit or how they look on your face, but it has more to do with how they perform. And so here's what we're gonna cover. We're gonna talk about the different colors of lenses or the tints. Um, we're gonna talk about mirrored versus not mirrored. Um, we're gonna talk about polarized and why that might be important to you or might not. We're gonna talk about the different materials. Uh, and then lastly, we're gonna talk about brand and price. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, to start off here, we're going to talk about uh, color and tint, and we're going to keep it super simple. There are lots of different colors out there and lots of tints. We're going to keep it to kind of the big three or the sweet spot in the color palette. So number one is smoke or gray, kind of an all around. Number two is this one right here. This is the um, copper brown. And then this one right here is the orange or amber color. Okay, gray or smoke. It's one of those you know, very well-rounded um, tints, but it really doesn't excel at anything. And, and so for the purpose of this video, I'm not actually gonna go into great detail on it because I actually don't like it personally. I think it makes the world look kinda, kinda cloudy and gray and I don't know, just dingy. And, um, and the two that I have in front of you are the two colors that I like, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. But if you were just gonna buy one pair of sunglasses, you might wanna consider gray or smoke just because It'll dabble in just about every condition. It's not gonna excel at any of them, but it'll kind of cover the gamut for you. Okay, so going forward here, what we're gonna talk about, this is two that I have in front of me here. These are the two that I like. This is the amber brown, and this is the copper orange. So amber brown, um, what I like about the amber brown one is this is for super bright sun. This is the one that helped me out in Mille Lacs that day where I couldn't see very well. It was a total whiteout. And I wanted to, you know, enhance the contrast so I could see those drifts and go around them. So this is kind of my sunny day, um, my lens. When it's really bright out or maybe partly cloudy, you know, the sun's peeking in and out, this is the one I like. It is mirrored. Um, and I'll talk about this brand. Um, this is Cast King, um, relatively inexpensive. Um, we'll get into that towards the end. Um, but I really like these for sunny days. And this color here, as I mentioned, this is that, that kind of orange uh, color. And what this does is it somehow makes things brighter. So when you get that super cloudy day and everything's kind of, you know, melting together, you put these on and the world just pops. It really just, you know, enhances things. I, somehow it makes it brighter. Um, so I'm a, I'm a big fan of these two colors. Like I said, there's lots of other ones out there. And if you really want to understand what each one does for you, um, you know, there's lots of reading. Now, like, let's say if you're a golfer. Golfers have their own color. I think it's green, maybe. Um, you know, shooters, like if you're a shooter guy. Like, the, you've probably all seen those yellow lenses. I actually really like those yellow lenses for riding my motorcycle, kind of at dusk. Um, so each color kind of has their own activity. But generally speaking, I just, you know, instead of having 50 pairs, I got two. 
depending on the day, because it's usually either cloudy or it's sunny. And um, I can get by with just these two. Okay, I mentioned having mirrored sunglasses versus not, and why would you want one or the other? Uh, there's two benefits to it. Um, the first one is it, it generally just, it filters more light. It's going to be a darker, a darker lens. Um, so obviously if you're in the sun, right, you see, you see tons of those on the beach. Um, again, it's just going to filter out more light. And then if you are trying to be sneaky or whatever, and you don't want people to see your eyes. Um, you know, that's what mirrored sunglasses, kind of stating the obvious there. But for low light conditions, so I mentioned uh, the yellow lenses when I'm riding my Harley, you know, at dusk. Um, a mirrored sunglass lens would not work very well there um, because you just, you know, it's just too dark. So that, that's really the difference between mirrored and not mirrored is um, do you want to see your eyes and do you want it to filter more light? Okay, so once you get your tint figured out, maybe you've got two or three colors you like, whatever, you figured out the tint, um, then you want to talk about, you know, do you want it polarized? So polarization is a little bit complicated. I'm gonna to try to keep it super simple for you. What polarizing does is it basically takes that light and kind of lines it up, if that makes any sense, or it filters out, um, it, it filters out the ones that are kind of crisscross and kind of, you know, all you're seeing are the ones that are in parallel. And, um, you know, there's way more to that story but generally speaking, that is what is happening with polarized sunglasses. And then, you know, why is it great? If you've ever been fishing or you've been looking into water, I don't exactly understand how it works, but it lets you see right down. And if you're sight fishing, you can see fish. You can see the bottom better. You can see weed lines. So for fishing, it's an absolute no-brainer. Get polarized sunglasses. Um, there's a big drawback to polarized sunglasses. And I'll try to show some examples here. Um, screens like, so your phone or maybe your fish finder or maybe you're, you know, reading at the beach. Um, you probably all experience this. You, went, you go to look at it and you can't see anything. Your screen is completely black. And what's happening there is the, the light rays that are coming off your screen are exactly the same as the light rays that are coming through your sunglasses. And so they cancel each other out and you don't see anything. Well, some of the screen companies um, have figured this out. So I'm gonna use Fish Finders for example. They have basically taken their polarization and they've turned it 45 degrees because you're not often gonna tilt your head like that. And so their polarization is at 45. Your eyes are either straight up or horizontal. And so they don't cancel each other out and you're able to see your Fish Finder. Um, hopefully these examples make some sense to you. Now, for your phone, if you hold your phone vertically, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna be able to see it. But if you turn it 90 degrees with sunglasses on, you will be able to see it. So a little tip for you there. But that's polarization. Um, again, lots to read about that one. But um, I, personally, I'm a fan. Um, they does cost a little more, uh, a little bit more. Some sunglasses, you know, they don't offer it, but I like polarization. Okay. This is the topic that most people focus on and it's brand and price and how they look. Um, why are some sunglasses $25 and some sunglasses $300? Um, a lot of it has to do with brand prestige, but some of it has to do with material. So I'm gonna use um, Costas, for example. So in the fishing world, Costas are, you know, they're the bomb, right? Everybody wants those. Um, I don't own a pair, but I know a friend who does and he swears by them. You know, they're very comfortable, they're super stylish. And what they do is they use very high grade uh, plastics and then they use a glass lens. And so sometimes the material of the sunglasses will actually make it cost more. But generally speaking, it's about brand. Um, let's talk about this particular brand that I purchased because I think it is an incredibly good value. Okay, so if you're an Amazon person uh, and you do a search for fishing sunglasses, these guys are gonna come up to the top of the list. Um, tons of reviews, people love them. I took a chance on them and I really like them too. Um, it's called Cast King and um, they do just a fantastic job. They're very comfortable. I think they look nice. Now it, that kind of depends on your, you know, your face and your you know, features and that kind of thing, but um, 
you know, what I liked about it is, hey, for 50 bucks, I can get two pairs. I can, you know, get one for sunny days, one for cloudy days. Um, they were packaged up really nicely. You get this awesome case. Um, so, you know, something to protect it, you know, in my, in my kayak, I'm throwing stuff all over. If I'm ice fishing, you know, stuff goes in the back and I don't have to worry about my sunglasses getting wrecked because of this nice hard case. And then it also has um, a nice soft um, sleeve to protect the lens. So, you know, you take the sunglasses, throw them in here, and then throw them inside the hard case, and you never have to worry about it. It's actually got a nice little clip on it too if you wanted to clip it on. I don't know, I don't do that, but. Um, this is Cast King. Look them up on Amazon. They do a fantastic job. All right, guys, I've only scratched the surface when it comes to all the engineering and technology that goes into sunglasses. It's actually a fascinating topic. If you like physics, if you like science, um, read up on all the engineering that went into a, a good pair of sunglasses. I would also really love to know what works for you. Um, please make a comment. We can all learn from that. You know, tell us what combination you use for fishing or what's your outdoor activity. Um, it's all super helpful. So guys, um, share, like, subscribe, send this to your friends and remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye-bye.